standard operating procedure, we bring our canal levels to as low as possible, uh, acceptable level, in anticipation of heavy rainfall. So there, although there's no rainfall at this point, we bring, uh, we use our pumping stations to get the water down the canals. Now I know that you're going to have to have a, an 8 a.m. meeting this morning, a briefing. On Today was just coincidental that we have our public works directors coming in to talk about emergency uh, purchases, procedures, uh, housing for our, you know, and our philosophy is that we, don't, we try not to overreact. Again, we're prepared for the long haul, so, so we, while it doesn't appear to that we activated, uh, we are we're monitoring every all the situations here in our EOC center. Uh, our, our personnel will be on standby, and we really think that business will be as usual today. We just ask our constituents and, and citizens to assist us by uh, cleaning uh, street drains, uh, reporting any unusual problems to us and over the next few days we'll gas yes, make sure you have plenty of water make sure you have cash in case uh, there is an emergency there's some other preps that we'll be talking about a little bit later in the day uh, reporting lack of gas and that you know the proper route in case of an evacuation stock up on batteries for your radio and flashlights it's also a good idea to have plenty of candles on hand as well as non-perishable food and bottled water if you need to, make sure you have supplies to board up your windows, and you need to be prepared to tie down lawn furniture, garbage cans, awnings, and antennas. Well, that